What's good YouTube, it's your boy Eric Patrick coming at you with a Formula 1 Talks video and this is going to be a new series on my channel and this is basically where I talk about Formula 1 topics in real life that are worth talking about and give my two cents upon them. So let's get right into it, Um, the first thing that is going to be in this series is Marisha actually coming back to Formula 1 and we all know that Marisha is having troubles financially and we all know that Formula 1 financially isn't a really fundamentally sound sport to participate in in the financial side of things but we all know that they have pulled down from the last three races of the 2014 season because they didn't have enough money to operate the team on a daily basis so they are trying to come back into the 2015 scene with the 2014 car which is a little bit of tweaks and modifications that will allow it to participate in 2014 in the 2015 season just to make the car and the rules and regulations of the 2015 season but they needed all the teams in form one to agree with this decision but three or four teams disagreed as bernie ecclestone said um one of them one of them mainly forced india and i find i find this very ironic because vijay malia on twitter has been very vocal about the bottom feeders gain nothing from formula one and the rich get richer richer and the poor get poorer in formula one and now they are um they are the ones that is rejecting Mauricio to actually come into play i think that they have disagreed because if Mauricio doesn't partake in this season they will actually split the money that Mauricio has earned last year they will actually split that pot evenly amongst all the racing teams which is the nine racing teams today in formula one if Mauricio does race they will give the money to Mauricio obviously so force india is also one of those teams who are actually kind of struggling financially and it is very ironic the team's owner is actually very vocal about what he is saying about bottom feeders the poor getting poorer and the rich getting richer it comes around and just backstabs marisha and just says that you can't actually participate in this season because we gotta split this money so basically they're fighting over a couple million pounds just to improve their car like what part of the game is that though um i don't i don't understand that part of the game but it is what it is man and i don't really think that if marisha does come back this season that wouldn't really be a good move because if they are going to use 2014's car that was a really good car fundamentally that was a really good car the main reason that they scored points was because of was because of the driver and a little bit of luck here and there but it has been a good good five year run from marisha literally started from scrap and now they here literally started from the bottom and we here from marisha they, they became from bottom feeding teams to still bottom feeding teams but a bottom feeding point scoring team so that is there's a huge feat that hasn't been accomplished in formula one i don't even know it if that has ever been accomplished but it is a amazing feat by that and because I think it's a bad move because Caterham isn't in the towns right now. They they are completely scrapped from this season. So the com the closest competitor that they have to Caterham is Sauber, and Sauber is looking like they have a good car this year. During day four testing at Jerez, they actually finished in second place. Esteban Gutierrez finished in second place with Kimi Raikkonen in first place and Lewis Hamilton in third. So Sauber actually beat mercedes that day and ended up being the second best team on the grid not on the grid but on the testing track that day so i don't really believe that it will be a good move for marisha because they have nothing to compare themselves to and they will just end up finishing the bottom of the standings once again and again receive less money obviously this is this is really after formal one but let me know your thoughts on this topic down below and don't forget to comment and subscribe. Follow your boy on Twitter and on Instagram. Air Patrick. Gotta hear ya, man. Peace.